Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. How's everyone doing today? I know it's a bit odd. We might not have as many people as usual because of the time. Since we usually stream on Thursday and not Friday, but hopefully if there's still a few of you here. So, here we have an old man wearing a mattress in his underwear, uh, also known as the future god killer. <laughs> this is uh, Holy Judgment. I created a character because earlier because, I mean, everyone's seen me, everyone's seen someone kill Hillock before. It's not that interesting. Uh, all I did was go through Act 1. Uh, hopefully, since I started a bit earlier, we will actually be able to complete our first Ascendancy by the end of the stream. That's kind of my goal. But before we actually get into the gameplay, I want to go over something. Let's go over. Okay. So I just want to go over the build that I'm going to be using this league, our league starter. This is my Holy Flame Totem Hierophant, and I'm going to show how it's built, as well as what items it's u it uses, and how you it's going to be leveled. So, just going to go over the leveling first. We are going to start with this cluster here. It's the main cluster that uh, gives you good damage, good life, it gives you basically whatever you need. Uh, after this point, we are going to be moving this way. We can, we're can. we going to be grabbing uh, Tireless, the Tireless Wheel, and we're going to be grabbing the Avatar of Fire Keystone. Heading up here and this way, we are going to be going for the Devotion Wheel, and then we're going to be up to the Divine Judgment Wheel. Uh, at some point, you're probably also going to want to grab the Sanctum of Thought area. I'm using uh, Armor Applies to Chaos Damage Taken from Hits. You probably don't want to allocate that to a little bit later, just because it's more it's more for later game stuff. Then we're going to head up here. We're going to go to Ancestral Bond. Uh, actually, I, I should note... Uh, before you do any of this stuff, you should probably rush Ancestral Bond. I made the mistake in the Flame Surge build of not rushing Ancestral Bond, and that is kind of an issue. So once you once you grab Avatar of Fire, I think the actual correct answer is to go right up to Ancestral Bond. Then you can deal with things like getting Devotion, Divine Judgment, Tireless, uh, sov Sovereignty, etc. You'll want to pick up Arcane Capacitor at some point, but it's not that important till later. Uh, grab the Purity of Flesh Wheel. Grab Explosive Impact. Skip ahead over here. You are going to want to grab uh, Shaman's Dominion and Mental Rapidity first. Then the Cruel Preparation with the... Uh, that is not the right mastery. What is that there? I don't know why that's allocated. <laughs> and then you're going to go up here and you're going to grab Heart of Flame with uh, the Flame Mastery that makes the, your crits don't inherently ignite. After that point, you'll be grabbing disc, the Discord Artisan Wheel and the Firewalker Wheel. You'll be heading all the way back here now that you're going to start having some auras and grabbing Sovereignty. Uh, once you finally get a staff, you'll want Whirling Barrier, but not before, since it's a staff node. Uh, probably at some point you'll be picking up Sanctum of Thought. Uh, this is kind of optional early, since crits... 
if you're going to die from a crit, you're probably going to die from normal damage, too. Because <laughs> you're not that strong early. And also, your defenses are kind of boosted at early levels, so it's not as big a deal. And very last for leveling this is going to be the jewel sockets and the iron will over here with constitution. If you're really suffering, you can pick up constitution over here. That works well. You can move this life master over there. But generally, iron will you want to leave to later just because you're not going to have a lot of strength for quite a bit of time. And the jewel sockets are only for forbidden flesh and flame currently. There's not really many other good options. Technically, you could get Spire of... Not Spire of Stone. That doesn't exist anymore. Technically, you could get Rain of Splinters, but those are going to be really stupid expensive, so I wouldn't recommend it. So that is the main leveling for the build. Oh, hey, Ron. How you doing today? So going over to the skills now, we are going to be doing a five link uh, with a Golem of, safe of Safeguarding, which takes some of the melee damage you would take from its own health instead. Uh, it's just a Cathwin Stun, Stone Golem with Meat Shield generally. Uh, those are the most three important gems. So if you can only get a three link staff to start with, that's fine. You don't need to have anything better than that, but the, you can also pick up minion life and fortify when you have a when you have more links on your staff. And then separate from that, um, like a one link on the staff is just your guard skill. Doing well. I figured you po pop into view your stream. How are you tonight? Excited for the stream? Yes, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be starting the new league. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm excited to use this build, because it's a very fun build. And I am going to be diving into the Affliction mechanic very soon, so I'm really excited to see how that works. So going back to skills here, just quickly going to finish going over the build. We have our auras. So we have Herald of Ash and Herald of Purity. They give a surprising amount of damage for their reservation costs, which is really nice. Uh, we also have picked up Determination so that we have some nice, chunky physical damage reduction and Defiance Banner for just more physical damage reduction, more evasion. Uh, Enlighten is here just as a... You can swap it on if like you need to swap one of these out so you can actually fit your auras in. Uh, it's not intended to be used here. It's just for mostly for uh, research and testing. Then we have our Flame Totem here. Holy Flame Totem with multiple totem support, just so you have extra totems. So it brings you up to five with uh, your uh, Pursuit of Faith from Hierophant and uh, Ancestral Bond. We have Inspiration, because that does lots of elemental damage in crit and also dis decreases the cost of our very expensive totems. Combustion, which makes it so that you deal more damage. Faster casting, because totems love casting speed, and fire penetration. Then for gloves, we have our travel skills, as well as righteous fire, just uh, whenever we want to use it for bossing. You just pop it on, gives us an extra 500,000 DPS. Uh, there is nothing in our boots right now, because of our warden ascendancy, which I'll go over in a moment. And we have flammability here in our profane proxy. So going over ascendancies, I'll start with the warden just because I just mentioned it. So we're gonna be taking oath of the magi as the very first thing. Uh, we're since we have no socketed gems in our boots, we'll get an extra thirty percent movement speed, which is gonna be real useful. So we can pick that up. Uh, technically, you could also swap out. You can swap some stuff into your um, staff and then take out jewels in either your gloves or helmet if you really want to get other stats, but we're not doing that currently. We have Detect Evil here just because I'm interested in trying it. And we have Tinctures here. 
since we have Battle Mage, Tinctures should still be helpful to us. We will see how effective they are, but this is what I want to try out for now. We have a uh, slot here for a Tincture. So we'll go over the items for this build right now. We have Martyr of Innocence, which I honestly find to be fairly reasonable to get. Uh, since you only really need a 4-socket, 3-link Martyr to start with, and the other two links are unnecessary unless you just need a little bit of extra protection for your golem, you're going to be fine just picking up a rather cheap Martyr on like the, the first or second day. Usually it's going to be only 10 or 15 Chaos, in my experiences, since I did this in two of the event leaks, actually. Uh, we have Eye of Malice here for fire and cold exposure, mainly fire exposure. Uh, nearby enemies have increased resistance, which also increases negative resistance, which will give us a chance to uh, do a lot of uh, extra damage with all of our penetration and uh, exposure and such. We have Lionized Vision as our chest plate. This can very easily be swapped out for a rare chest plate. This is not required. It will give you extra damage because of the pierce support, but it is not required until you are ready for it. We have Malagaro's Veracity, which is a quite an important thing. Uh, gives you a bunch of crit multi, so we don't have to actually build the crit multi, and helps with our crit chance. It gives us more decks, so we need that badly. Uh, you will be able to get a number of different other things on this, a number of different corrupt implicits. We can go over those at another point when uh, we're actually farther in the build. Uh, then the boots. You just need simple resistance boots. Uh, the implicits from e the Eater of Worlds and Searing Exarch are good, but only make up a combined 100,000. Uh, combined 4% of your damage, so they're they're trivial. We have Zoth's Heart here. I picked up Disciple of Slaughter, which gives you the ability to generate Frenzy Charges, because that's useful. Uh, we have this for Cover and Ash, mainly. Then we have our Profane Proxy, covering our chilling Skitter bots with uh, Flammability and using Shocking for damage. Basic Attribute and Life Ring. And we have the Magnite for triple damage. Double and triple damage. It'll also give us a lot of extra flash charges gained. Uh, we are using, for our, all of our flasks, we're using Bottomless, which gives more charge recovery. And in addition, with the uh, flash charges gained on uh, the Magnite, it brings us up to 110% plus charge gain modifier, which is really, really good. So they'll come up fast. Granite with cast speed on it, silver with armor on it. I, I usually like a lot of people would do granite with armor and silver with cast speed, but I swap them so that if one's up but the other isn't, you always have a little bit of, of both of them. Enduring flask, basic corrupted blood. Uh, we might not need the corrupted blood. We will see. That might be better as poison, just because we have a lot of physical damage reduction. A uh, number of which is from Endurance Charges, so it will cover Bleeding. And then we have our Tincture Slot. We also have Forbidden Flesh and Flame with Augur of Peni Penitence. Augury of Penitence, sorry. And that will bring us over to our Ascendancy. So Augury of Penitence is just over here in the Inquisitor line. Just less elemental damage taken, more elemental damage dealt. Pretty simple, and it's also one of the cheaper decent uh, Forbidden Flesh and Flames you'll find for the, the Templar. Uh, for here, we have taken Arcane Blessing for Arcane Surge. We have Con Conviction of Power for Endurance and Power Charges. We have Pursuit of Faith for Summon Totems. And we have Ritual Awakening for Totem Damage. So your order for this, for Ascending, will be your first sentence will be Arcane Blessing because it gives the most damage. Even if you are technically using a different scale just to level up, that will also be pretty good if it's a spell totem. Uh, Pursuit of Faith is next to get the next maximum totems. Then we're going to be taking Power of Conviction. Uh, I've been debating whether to go Power of Conviction or Ritual of Awakening next, 
but I'm setting on on Conviction of Power, because Conviction of Power gives Endurance Charges, which mean that you are going to have a bunch of physical damage reduction that also works when you are dealing with the Labyrinth Traps, and a lot of people are going to be running Labyrinth stuff this league. So this is mainly to protect us when we do the Uber Lab, so that we can actually get through there without getting just shredded by traps. And then Ritual Awakening is damage, mana regen, life regen. Uh, you can take Ritual Awakening as your third if you think you'll be fine with the traps and you need you are having mana problems. That's totally reasonable. And that's the Ascendancy. So in general, this does 2.5 million DPS. It's decent for a League starter. It's got a decent block chance, so you'll be able to fairly easily activate the uh you'll be able to fairly easily activate the 15% uh, fire pen if you've blocked recently on the Mart of Innocence. So if you have that activated, it gives an extra 200,000 DPS, which is really nice. We also have our uh, golem that will have meat shield and will be near near us so it will be taking damage for us to protect us and we it will also be protected from a lot of its own damage it's taking and that is generally most the build it's pretty effective we're sitting at 2500 totem life which is very very good 2400 armor for the totems perfect these totems won't die easily at all they are really strong plus we're going to have extra damage from the uh, pure support decent crit chance decent crit multi and we will have curse immunity from our consecrated ground that we get from our holy flame totems too which is going to be really nice. Plus also a big chunk of life regen. Where is this? Yeah. So you can see on the left right here, our consecrated ground gives us 240 life regen per second, which is really, really nice. Uh, I've been considering swapping out the augury penitence here for pious path, which means that Consecrated Grounds effects linger, as well as you get ES regen. Uh, that means that the damage, um, the damage effects will li will linger on enemies, and the benefits will linger on you. So you are more likely to always be curse immune with Pious Path. Uh, I haven't really invested in Energy Shield though, so it feels kind of stupid to have double the ES recovery a second that you have actual energy shield. So, not sure about that. But, now that we've gone over this whole build, let's jump in to Affliction. And for those who are on YouTube watching this little build guide, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell for more content. Also, if you want to leave any posts in the comments or comment in the stream about any future videos you'd like to see, feel free. I'd love to have more ideas. Okay, moving back to PoE. Just move things around, make sure everything's set up correctly. Cool. So we're level 8 right now. We are going to dive in to Act 1 in a variety of places. Uh, I want to mainly focus on leveling right now since I am not very strong yet. Gonna pick up... Gonna pick the prison. This is the basic place to level. I want to get to... Uh, I want to be able to get at least high enough to get Flame Dash running. Oh, no, that is the wrong skill. Until we have uh, Ancestral Bond, we can also use other skills, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to use Smite, which gives extra lightning damage to our totem. Through the Smite Aura. There 
There we go. Unfortunately, the uh, Holy Flame Totem has a lot, like a really, really big mana cost. Like it's it's nearly twenty right now, which isn't isn't bad later, but for having only two supports on it, it's pretty rough. I look forward to being able to get inspiration support for it. And level nine. Okay, and that is the Holy Flame Totem leveled up. Let's chill some things. Holy Flame Totem and chill. Also, have Prismatic Burst on this, just because... On the smite, because it's cool. Oh god, it's lightning resistant, so I'm not doing much damage, and it's blue, so it's not doing much damage either. Get it? There we go. <laughs> I've already gone through this area. I'm just not high enough level to keep going. Ooh, there is a Twisted Burrow here. We could go into the Wildwood. I have not done it yet. I've been saving that for the stream specifically, because, I mean, that that wouldn't be very fun if I did it all on my own. Ooh, quality. Quality gem. Always very good. Quality gems are so much more valuable than before, so that's going to be a really big deal now that... You can't just level something to 20 and have quality. Which means that I'm going to plop this in here so that that starts leveling with us. Okay. Should I get to level 10 before I jump into this? Hmm. Oh, there's a necromancer somewhere. There you are. I'm going to get the last little bit of XP I need, if it's easy, before I jump into the Wildwood, just so that I'm able to handle the Wildwood. I don't know how dangerous it is, dangerous it is and it, you, they usually overtune the lake mechanic. I guess they would rather people suffer than risk it being too easy. Which I don't really get that as a philosophy, but eh, it's their game. Okay. Light of Divinity. Oh no. Oh no! We've ran out of things. Oh, well, whatever. Just dump the. Oops. Dump the inventory. Jump into the wild wood. And we will do our ritual chrome check once I empty my inventory first. Ritual chrome check. No. Also, why did I forget to do these? What am I doing to myself? Or am I? What's going on? I was like, God, you look so fucking stupid when you start. Just pajama mattress man. Like, he looks like he's escaped from, like, a facility of some sort that he needs to be taken care of. <laughs> oh, it's okay, though. He'll kill a god. Okay, first look at Afflictions Wildwood. Uh,. Wait, is there... Okay. Oh, it just moves with me. Okay. I'll follow you. 
though usually wisps lead you to like your doom uh in folklore so that's kind of dangerous okay i don't see any like oh i am sucking in nature i'm getting purple oh oh hello wild empowered oops did not mean to bump my mic Uh, oh, no, no, oh god, they're all cockroaches. Oh no, I hate that. Oh, that's, oh, that upsets me. Oh, that's so upsetting. Oh, just like, look at the edges of the darkness, like, ew. Okay, I'm just gonna not look at that and look only at the monsters, if I can. Oh, oh no. Oh, I don't like that. What is go- What the fuck is going on? Must be the cultist that's doing that. Is it- Oh, it's you! You're the butthead doing that. Run! Yeah, no, you- Leave that to the- Ah! Can't see what's going on! Don't like. Dislike. I do really like the the awesome uh flower explosion stuff though. That would be a really fun skill to have. Yeah, no. Fight fight the totem, will you? While I just hide over here. Why are I frogs! Frogs! Angry frogs! Please, Totem. This is a level 8 area. Why are you struggling? Well, it's overtuned, as expected. That's that's why we're struggling. Oh, that had a thing over here. It was like point like there was like a point in a direction. Uh I eat <laughs> I hate the cockroaches. Why did they do that? Uh, was that just like a big wisp? Okay, don't know what's going on there. Ooh, yellow. Yellow stuff, not looking at the cockroaches, because they creep me out. <laughs> okay, I need to remember to stand on my totems as much as I can for the regen. Okay, we're going into the yellow area. I'm gonna make a like really uh I'm gonna make like a really early guess and say that the purple area is chaos and the yellow area is maybe elemental or it's fire and the blue one is is frost. <laughs> that would make some sense. Ah. Oh that's a large tree man. Hello. Oh, it's Treant Dryad. Cool. I like Dryads. Pulsing Tuber. So when do you, like, run out of stuff to do here is what I'm wondering. Because we seem to be just running around to our heart's content. Ooh, Flamewall. I'll take that. I like Flamewall. Ooh. I like sucking up the wisps. I do not like the bugs everywhere. That's upsetting. I'm the type of person who doesn't play games because they're like because there's spiders and bugs in them. Of course, spiders aren't bugs, but you know, I know people are going to will rant about that. There's a 
portal now. What happened? Did I finish something? There's not really any indication as to what's going on, just that... Uh, I don't like this. Wow, this is getting really dicey. No, there's too many frogs. Why <laughs> there's so many frogs? I'm going to rip it in peace soon. Wait, so do I, I don't do I have to I do I have to leave? Ah. Oh. Okay, so I've just run out and of of stuff. So I can go back to the areas I've been. I can grab stuff I've I can grab like extra wisps and blazes that I've missed but I can't get anything new now well I see a bunch of stuff here I don't know how valuable these wisps are like is is me going back to grab like 40 wisps worth it no I'm getting way more than 40 Oh yeah, as soon as you go into the darkness, you start, like, coming to a stop, basically. Nope, go away. Nope, go away! I don't want you! Ooh, I missed these. Ooh, I see more. I think... Oh, yeah, there's no mini-map. Okay, I think this area is done. Okay, that explains nothing. <laughs> that was... It was cool. Really gross, but cool. <laughs> but, like... I guess they'll explain eventually what anything does. Okay, whatever. So I'm halfway to level 11 now. I guess I'll go to Prisoner's Gate. Start there. I don't know why I created a new area. I don't need to do that. Oh, well, I can go back into the Wildwood immediately. Sure. <laughs> oh, bugs. Not, not happy. Not happy with those. Do I have to kill anything? Can I just, like, wander past everything and just steal all the shit? I think it's left on the ground. Ooh, I really want some of that, though. Well, thankfully, I am a totem build! So I can kind of just leave things alone to deal with my totem. Or, or they can just completely ignore my totem and wander after me anyways. I'll take out that... Hello. Oh, I've run out already of area that I can go to. Okay, now that I've taken up most of the wisps, do these things give more wisps when I kill them? No! No, no, no. No explosions. Okay, I'm at 992. Do any of these give anything? Or are these just here to obstruct me? No, 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 I got it like 100 from something. Okay, so no, there is actual value to killing these things. It's not just... They're not just here for flavor and obstruction and items. Eh. Mana is a problem. I think... There's some more wisps. Lots more wisps. More power. Power. Ah, no. Go away. No. Don't want. Have you heard of our Lord and Xavier the Wildwood?
Vivid empowered. Wait. Vivid empowered yellow. Wild empowered pink. Hmm. That's suspicious. Those are the exact same classifications that Harvest uses. I wonder if once like they know what the reception to this is, they'll be deciding whether they want to make Harvest uh work with this. Cuz theoretically, you could combine the Harvest crafts with this and just like cost wisps. Though, and I mean, <sighs> Harvest was my favorite mechanic for a very long time. Uh, they have repeatedly, like, kicked it in the teeth and have just, just destroyed it. Ooh, nice. So there isn't really any part of Harvest left that I love, which is sad. So if they were to replace Harvest with this, I wouldn't be too sad, I'll be honest. I just wouldn't be. My my love is gone. It was a great mechanic back in the day. A after after the league, not not during the league. Um it was cool during the league, but I don't want to build a garden myself. I just want it to like give you crafts so you can craft yourself stuff, which is fun. Okay, so this is this way. Okay, so you can kind of skip through the darkness if you use your travel skill. What happens if I just straight up dot, like, teleport into the darkness? Oh, it just kicks you out. Oh, so you don't even need to bother using the portal. You can just, like, jump into the darkness and let it kick you out of the thing instead. That's actually probably a lot faster. I'll have to remember that. Ah. Leave me alone. I look forward to having more duration on these totems, because I can I can tell I can tell they're suffering from that from not having duration. I wonder how effectively the uh, flame wall adds damage to these things. Because technically these are projectiles. No. 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 Okay, hold on. Let's take out some of the mages. That's part of the problem. Ow. I would like to be alive. <laughs> Very important to me for reasons. For Alive reasons. Ow. I'm a level higher than this. I just... I just suck, apparently. <laughs> oh! Vivid empowered? Why is this empowered by the Wildwood? Strange. Oh wow, that thing really likes running around. These are empowered. That's what's going on. Is it because they were near the the fissure, the butthole, the tree butthole? They were near the tree butthole. And they got spicy, because they were near the spicy tree butthole. Okay. I, this, I had to translate it into an, a language I understood. Now I understand, though. Spicy tree butthole. 
makes minion makes things spice makes monsters spicy. Got it. Oh, this is another empowered one. That's why it's ass to deal with. I wonder if... I saw it kind of explode at the end in what looked like... <laughs> I, I'm glad that you understand the same language. Oh god, there's more empowered ones. No, leave me alone. Why is there more empowered ones? You're so far away. You are so far away from the butthole. Why are you powerful? Well, these are normal ones, so they're easy to kill. Uh, I should just go back to town. What am I doing with my life? Uh, apparently Poisonous Concoction just got hotfixed. I don't know if anyone's using Poisonous Concoction, but... Okay, I have to... <laughs> Hi, Pyro. I, I have to note this, because this is, like, super funny to me. Uh, Pyro, your message got blocked by Automod, because it had the word butthole in it. <laughs> But for some reason, Ron's didn't. Oh, because Ron's a mod. Right, okay. You know, I, I have permitted you to use the word butthole now, according to <laughs> according to Twitch. So, you are butthole permitted now. Congratulations. Uh, I should look at these gloves and the hat. A little bit of dex. Yep, that's a little bit better, but I can't... How much... Oh, I'm short a lot of dex. Oh, that would give me 22 dex, which still isn't enough. And that doesn't give me any dex. Just pure red. I mean, that's fine. I'll put it over there. Eh, I'll keep a hold on it for now. You're welcome for butthole permission. Pyre, are you doing poisonous concoction this league? Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, Frost Blink's useful, but mm, I'm good. Okay. Back to Prisoner's Gate. Let's level up a little bit. Then we can go to Act 2. We have a couple waypoints in Act 2, but I want to be... Why is the unique right at the the fucking waypoint? Oh, these must not be empowered. That's good. They're right beside the wildwood. Why are they not empowered? Okay, I don't understand how the empowering works. Maybe they just empower things at random. Yeah, that was really easy to kill him. Yeah, I guess things just randomly get empowered. Okay, gonna look away from parts of the screen so I don't see the, all the horrible piles of bugs skittering away from everywhere. Well, these are really fucking cool. Oh my gosh, look at that. 
got a, it's got like a deer skull on it. Oh, that's awesome. What is it under that? It's like some skeleton or something. It says treant triad, so I guess it's just a tree. Okay. Okay, I'm starting to like get desensitized to the to the cockroaches now. So it's not freaking me out as much. But that wasn't very fun at the start, let's put it that way. Sapphire, nice. I can take a sapphire ring. That would have been useful before I killed Marvile, but... Yeah, if you like bugs, I guess this is the league for you. It's very much a swamp, so, like, there's also a whole... No! No, it's the monkeys! No! I just saw them. Those are, those are the monkeys from Delve. I recognize their model. Not this thing. This is Grime Stink. <laughs> the rare mob. <laughs> I hope I'm not offending you, Grime Stink. Oh, God, this tanky. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna try to grab rare stuff. Ooh, lots and lots, lots of wisps. Lots of wisps, lots of wisps, lots of wisps. Wisp, 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 lots of wisps. Wisps. Giant horned beast, lots of wisps. Recover, oh, recover all life, mana, energy, shield, and flash charges from the well here. That's cool. Okay, well, I guess I'll fight something. No, no, not that button. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna grab all that. I'm gonna use up all my mana and then come back for that and activate it. Yeah, you probably need to go activate like 50 of those or something for the league challenges, if I were to guess. Wait, I have totems. What am I doing? All right, well, okay, I have Totem. Okay, is there any more wispy things I can get? Oh, I see some. You don't need to go back through the portal, is what I've learned, for those who are just got here. You can just literally just, like, walk out into the darkness and it'll spit you out. What? Was that the song? Hold on. That wasn't the song! That was the Wildwood! With the evil laugh. Oh. Weird. <laughs> well, that, that blindsided me a bit. Yeah, you might have made Burning Ground, but I'm also on Consecrated Ground, so you're really not going to be... Killing me. Um, you're very fast though, which I don't like. Um, I feel like I'm about to die. Just a inkling suspicion. Oh, great! There's a unique on me now. Wonderful. I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh no, those are empowered. Screw the empowered stuff. I wonder if the empowered stuff give gives you uh 
gives you wisps outside of the wildwood. It doesn't show that there's wisps being given, but it could just be bad at badly explained. Do I have any important points coming up? Not really. Actually, I'll grab the precision so I can get more. So I can put on evasion stuff. Or deck stuff. Ooh, a jade amulet. I actually could really use that. Oh, it just popped right in. Okay. What level am I? Thirteen. Oh, portal scroll. I'll keep going this way. Keep killing stuff. I have waypoints past here, but I want to actually level up. That kind of exploded into wisps. That feels like it would have given me a wisp if it if they give wisps. I mean, there was nothing that was in the bottom left hand corner showing it, but just a quick reminder for anyone who's new here to uh, follow the channel if you're enjoying the content would really help me. Or if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Cool Wildwood. Also Fair Graves. I don't remember... I can never remember if I need to do Fair Graves or not do Fair Graves. Oh god, I have angered many, many things. This was a... Very poor choice on my part. I have made mistakes. I have made gratuitous mistakes. I'm trying to grab just more wisps in hopes that I will still get something out of this encounter if I die horribly. But I don't know yet what happens if I die in the Wildwood. I wonder if it, like, if you lose all your wisps or whatever. Ow. Well, we can find out now. Okay, I guess we can't find out. So you get okay, you get locked, you get kicked out, but uh, I did I keep my wisps? It is there is there any way to check that? <laughs> okay, the Maroon Mariner is this. Just gonna open up the uh your list. Okay, so you do need to do Maroon Mariner. Okay, I'm gonna go do that then. I always get that one confused. I need to remember to keep hitting things to uh, turn on the aura. Keep 
that. Cool. I just need a white. I just need a white scepter now. Oh, you're oh you're wild empower. Oh god, I hate empowered things. <laughs> oh, okay, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, if I get a white scepter, then I can put that essence on it, and maybe I'll have a better piece of gear. I don't really want to put it on my current scepter, though, because my current scepter sucks. Another Wildwood over here. So Wildwood pops up in sub-areas, which makes you wonder if you do a... And it's gone. Oh yeah, if you do a Vol side area, I wonder if you will get a Wildwood in the side area as well. Is this? This feels like the wrong way. Ooh, always crit! Holy crit! Let's murder everything. Probably not going to bot. Ooh, I need that. Heavy belt on right, right about now. Probably not going to bother with this thing. I don't know how easy it is to kill. Uh, no, it, it's decent. Unfortunately, my thing ended, but... Cool. Getting precision, the cast speed will give us a bunch of extra damage. And also we can wear more deck stuff. Okay, let's saw off what I have first. Before I start from checking. What's an int? I don't think I'm gonna need int too too immediately. Uh, this is slightly better than the other coral ring. Uh, you know what? I'm going to upgrade the belt. Reduce last charges used. That's okay. Is this decent? Better than that one. Okay. Chrome check. I'll always be chrome checking. Got one. Heads up, though, the uh, rest are low uh, low quality gems, but like still quality gems will probably be more valuable doing the gem cutter recipe this league because of the changes to uh, how you gain quality on things. Hmm. I should also grab something else. I guess I'll grab Precision, too. That'll be useful. Grab Precision. Gonna grab Clarity. Nah. Clarity would be good, but I don't know. Where are those weird sounds coming from? I think, I think there's something weird. Is it this thing? 
It must be these things that are doing it. Oh, now I look suitably insane. Just with my my creepy creepy plague doctor mask on, and my mattress and my underwear. Burn. Burn. Yes. 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 Burn. Burn. There's a singing bone minion now. Lots of people have it in town. Where, where are they getting it from? <laughs> Is that just like a microtransaction that came out? I imagine it must be. Because, like, we have, like, there are drops going on right now for Path, but I'm pretty sure those are for a pet. So make sure to check your progress on your drops when you get a chance on Twitch. I think you need to watch, like, four hours of content or something. It's, I remember it being more than I expected. Okay, I'm level 15. I'm going to go over to Act 2 now. Start walking around over there. Also, I leveled up so I can chrome check again. Okay, so health flasks are there. I'll need to get some new flasks soon, because my flasks currently really suck. Okay, that's a... that leather belt max rolled. That's actually really good. Um... Hmm. How much do I need strength? I don't think I actually need the strength right now. Oh, wait, yeah, actually, I'm going to use this. Ooh, yeah, that, that gives me 48 more health. Okay. Whoa, that town was surprisingly laggy there. Sure, you can come with me, Einar. Einar, have you heard of the Wildwood? Okay, will you come with me? Oh, Einar will come with you into the Wildwood. Nice, you can get his buff. Want to stay in range of that? Aided etching. Didn't trust him at first. Does that have anything to do with the evil laugh we he laugh we heard? Hmm. 
I just stopped the music because I wanted to like be able to hear it. Pulsing tuber. I think that that is a reused blight asset. I think these are reused blight assets or like touched up versions of them. Like the blight cysts. There's a lot of the same color schemes too, though, so that's there probably was inspiration from it. Not that I dis, not that I mind or care whether they reuse things. If it means that they have more development time for things that I care about, then I'm all for it. I'm just curious. Nope. That's the same thing I just clicked on. Is there any more boxes? Doesn't look like it. Oh, what are you? Oh. Hey, there was a boom. Big boom. Don't know don't know what that was. But it gave me more vision, I think. Okay. Is that, like, free extra vision? Okay, we're in a blue area now. We're running out, though. Oh! Oh, who the fuck is that? Oh, this is a really cool giant skull. I like giant skulls. I didn't even turn on my fucking precision aura. I just realized that. Okay, let's turn that on. Oh no, have I been leveling it without paying any attention? God damn it. <laughs> I'm so bad for that. Wait, why was there... Help bar over here. Weird. Ooh, first chaos orb! Yay! It's always exciting. Okay. More wisps over here. Wonder when you meet the NPCs. So I still haven't met any NPCs yet. Kind of, I kind of expected it to be like Harvest, where you would you saw Oshabi immediately as soon as you entered your first garden. Oh, that one's all glowy and blue. Oh, that gave me a bunch. Okay. Okay, I think I'm done here. Okay, so I assume that that is the person who uh, invited others to their camp and who I assume is evil. Like in that uh, that voice uh, that voice note we just found. Okay, I need to remember not to level up my precision. Okay, this one's glowing. Primal and vivid empowered. Oh god, why? You can, you can get like triple empowered. Oh, thank you, Einhard. That was really useful. I don't actually care about the beast though, so I'll just leave that alone. really like for my precision gem to reach level three so that I can 
cancel it so it will stop leveling up so I can start so I can just stop thinking about it because otherwise I'm gonna forget it. I'm gonna level it up again. That's single. That's double empowered. I don't, I don't like this. Stop being empowered. Wow, it's ignite resistant. That's that sucks. Oh, that's not worth it. That's also ignite resistant. Cool. And I will leave the rest of that alone, because I don't care. Well, level up the flame wall. Ooh, first level of regret. Nice. Well, 17? Okay, I'm starting to... Starting to move more smoothly now. That's nice. Augment. And I could really do with some more totems. One totem sucks. Okay, precision's gonna love is going to be ready to level up soon, and then I'm gonna cancel it, and then I won't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> Also, I'm not applying my passive points because there's no point. L O L. There's no point in the points. Because I need multiple more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need nine passive points before it matters. I don't need. Well, I mean, when I have like five, I'll probably do it, but I don't really need just travel nodes. The first thing I'm going to go for is probably the Ancestral Bond, seeing as apparently it just sucks not having it. Okay, yeah. Ow. No. I I want though. Can't why can't have? Why can't have? There we go. I should probably actually go back to town. Okay, so I see where Alira is since the the broken path is right there. Hello, Captain Artie. Or Terry. Arthur. Artemis. Artface. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. No, I almost I almost leveled up the precision. <laughs> okay, prisoner's gate. This should mean that I can die to wolves. No. Uh this should mean that I can jump back to Oh, no, I was hoping that if I walked into Act 1, then I would be able to skip back to uh, town that way. But either that doesn't work the way I thought it did, or it's been fixed. Oh, 
Oh, it's a try resist belt. Okay, I guess I'll use that. Good with that. Ooh, level 12 flask. I'd really like to be able to level up my flasks a bit more. If I get another level 3 flask or two more level 6 flasks, I have to level some up. Okay, I'm going to go back to Act 1. There. That's a good point. Crumb check. Okay, there's one. No, no more. And back to act two. I don't think I crumb check gross yet. Oh, yep, yeah, right there. Nope. Okay, there's two. I'll start listing things for sale. Those things are really cute. Okay, into the Wildwood. I miss having an iron heart to help me. Okay, so there's some rare gloves there. Yeah, come over here. Fire through the flame wall. I still don't know if flame wall actually properly works with this, but... With the uh, holy flame totems, but... If it does, it's very n it would be very nice. Just gonna wander a bit. Oh, I'm in the purple area. This place always creeps me out. Or not creeps me out. It scares me because of how strong the minion the monsters are. I really like their their toad summoning ability. That one's really cool. Uh, grab the accessories because they don't take up much room in the inventory. There we go. Whoa. That scares me sometimes. Just just the portal appearing. Uh, is there anything else? Okay, there's a little bit there. A little wisp there. Anything else I missed?
I don't know if I need to just hit or what to get the aura. Hitting an, er an enemy grants an aura. Okay, so I don't actually need to deal damage. I just need to hit them consistently to keep up the uh, smite aura. So just the flat lightning damage it adds. You know what? You're taking way too long to kill for a white mob. Okay, I'm over in the old fields. Let's wander over to the crossroads. The good old fields. I rarely come through this place, but eh. Usually I public party to get around places, but eh. I don't like that doing that so much on stream. Also, you can't really control what other people do in game. Or what they say in game. And that can be a problem. Lots of wisps. Ah. Ow. Ooh, wisp, 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 wisp. It's satisfying collecting wisps, I will say that. Ah, nope. Don't want whatever that was. Hmm. No, I think I would fancy not being involved in that pile of crap. Thank you very much. I'll just, just focus on my totem. Just, yep, yeah, I have a totem there. It, it, you love my totem so much. That's why you're going to ignore me com ignore me completely. Well, someone decides to be a rebel. Okay, whatever. Ooh! Oh. I thought I was going to be able to get a, a wisp to close to, like, get more air, or, like, one of those big wisps to get more area. Okay. I hope all these, these wisps that I'm getting are, like, pat, like, stacking up somewhere, and I'm not just, like, gaining wisps and then getting nothing for them. Otherwise, I'll be really sad. Okay. Deal with the bandits. Victoria's secret. So deal with the bandits is the only skill points in Act Two. Oh, you get respect points from the crypt. That's what that is. Okay. I guess the best bet is to go to the Broken Bridge. I guess I could go back for Alira, but I don't know, I'm here. Just get all the easy stuff. Not gonna spend too much time on the empowered things. Broken Bridge.
Yep, come with me. I'm sorry, Einhard, but I'm I'm using and abusing you. I'm not actually here to help you catch your beasts. I just want you because you're extra damage. Or, well, mainly because you're ex extra, like, health regen, but extra damage is also good. Okay, here's Creighton. Little Creighton. There we go, level 19. Teleport over here, will you? Cool. Yeah, come over here. Hey, he'll keep teleporting to me, so as long as I keep my totem over here and the flame wall on me, he should keep coming over here. Theoretically. Actually, if I put my totem close enough, I can get the Consecrated Ground too. Oh, yep, yeah, gotta use Smite too. I have five points now. Uh, I'm going to skip the tireless wheel. Go all the way up here. This is why I said it wasn't. there's no point in, in applying them when I was getting them. Yeah, I still have one, two, three, four more before it matters. Okay, let's go do a Lyra now. Oh my gosh, every time I go into town, I start lagging horribly. I don't know why. Maybe just because of the sheer amount of people who are still, like, early on in the game, just starting out. That's, I mean, that's probably the reason. Oh, level 12 life flask. I didn't even process I got that. That's awesome. Oh, my my awakened POE trade is still set to standard. Let's set that to affliction now. Let's try this again. Anyone selling chromatics yet? Oh wow, people are already selling chromes. A lot. Oh wow, I yeah no, my pricing is completely off then. It's only like one chaos for fifteen right now. I guess some sort of... Some mechanic is just shitting them out, I guess. That's why 13. I don't know. Cool. What is going on? There's, like, so many strange... Explosive things happening in town right now, and it's really, really not helping lag. I don't know why they made the changes they did to bring all this stuff into town, but I would appreciate it if they would reverse whatever is causing all this lag. Because it sucks. Okay, I'm going to skip the Wildwood for a moment. Alright, let's go find Alira. I want the skill points from it. Eight, you explodey guys, stop it. I didn't follow the path, did I? I just like wandered off in the wrong direction, I think. Like I, I see I see the break in okay, here it is. I went too far up. Lyra, die. 
Activate Smite. Keep up Smite. Oh, she really likes to move. Really appreciate it if you'd stop moving. Can I, like, back her into a corner? Oh, that's perfect. Oh, she can just walk out the other side. Okay. Okay. Got her. Okay, I'm going to go back to the western western forest. No. In my game, every time I go to town, my capture lags out, which never happens unless I'm doing delirium with like a fast character. Different ways, that's what I meant to say. So whatever they've done is a, is like a very bad change. Oh god, why is everything around the waypoint? Well, good XP, but horrible welcome party. Fluff off. You're sturdy. Physical resistance. Oh, I guess this is... Ah, physical, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that's a big pile. Watch the lightning damage. Oh, so I do have some lightning damage base. Strange. Why do I have lightning damage base? It's this is a. Oh, because I'm looking at smite, not at holy flame totem. That's why. Yes, because Smite is a conversion a lightning conversion skill, which is why, which is why it has lightning on it. Okay, I'm level twenty now. I should be strong enough to kill Oak. Yeah, I'll be fine. I can definitely kill him. You're not that tanky. Not compared to my trio of skills. Okay, picking up two skill points, and then only one skill point away from Ancestral Bond, and then I can have two totems, finally. My smite will stop doing damage, but I'll still get the aura from it, so I don't really care. Come check. Okay, there's one. 
it might not be worth it to keep chrome checking too much if the value has gone down of chromes a lot because it looks like it has but we'll see okay chamber of sins is next Okay. Level two. Let's get the lab trial. Usually, uh, usually it's the right, I feel like. Ooh, a gem cutter strong box. That's super valuable. Ooh, level 8% Ruthless Support. Wait. That doesn't have quality, that doesn't have quality, that doesn't have quality. Ruthless Support does, though, so that's going to get leveled. Leveling any quality gems, I find. Just because there's not going to be a huge number of them on the market yet, I don't think. Just out of curiosity, this multiple shop support I found earlier, with quality, only like chaos, actually. Not many people have leveled them yet, is the thing. I guess it's just a lot of people playing this league. I mean, that's good. Good for the game. Good for the economy of the game. Cool trial. Oh, this entire section is just the trial. Oh, that did not place where I expected it to. Not the right thing. Not that. Nope, wrong way. I wonder how soon you'll be able to get the Ascendancy stuff for the Wildwood. That I would love to know. Because if I can get my first two points really quickly, I can probably push for that movement speed buff really quick. Which would be so nice when leveling in the campaign. Piety, have you been causing trouble and making Spider Men? It's Spider Man! He looks a bit different than I re remember, though. Weird. Ooh, Heralds, okay. First Herald I want is Herald of Ash. I feel like these aren't resetting when I level. 
shops. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, Weaver's Chamber. New Weaver's Chamber. I forgot to get the waypoint to the Western Forest. Darn it. Oh, I just noticed. I, I went down in followers on Twitch. <laughs> Aw. I mean, that's fair. You aren't required to stay. Wait, I need to find the torches. No, don't explode on me. Gosh darn it. Okay, Lyra's over there, so the weaver should be right over here somewhere-ish. Ooh, I want you. I think the Weaver's more or less directly opposite of Lyra. Ooh, 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 um, wait, let me grab these first. Uh, Sedimas? So you must touch. More quant. I like more quant. And damage with attacks is not that useful. These actually aren't that amazing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll I'll use them for now for quant. And if I need the resistances, I can always swap them back. But for now, quant. I would love to have some more, da more, um, not damage, more loot. Because quant is actually quite useful. Not, rarity is not, quant is. Oh god, you are regening quickly. Now you're not. Uh, either I went the wrong way, or... The Weaver is not directly opposite. I played this for nearly 5,000 hours now, and I still can't find the Weaver quickly. <laughs> oh, boy. At least I know she's on the opposite side of Alira, but there she is. Uh. Yeah, that's not... That might be opposite of Lyra, but I don't think so. Oh! I leveled. Awesome. Let's see if how this affects my damage. Looks like positively. I just need to remember to occasionally smite for the aura. If I just need a hit to get the aura, I don't need to actually deal damage. Since I won't be dealing damage with Ancestral Bond active. Also don't know if the flame wall is going to be working cuz that it's now its only function is to burn things and to maybe give projectiles buffs. I'm not sure if they do though or if it does properly though. I don't really know how that works. Okay, I need to keep up my totems.
so many things. <laughs> Covered in spider webs. No. There we go. Malagaro spike. Now to go through the lag encampment. Ooh, faster casting. Is there anything else that we just got? Do I use conch effect? I can't remember. No. I do use two faster castings, though. So I should level two of them. Cool. Those are level there. Uh, elemental proliferation doesn't work here anymore. Where is Flame Dash? Flame Dash is over there. Move those around. Okay. Okay, so I faster casting on Flame Dash now. That's going to be helpful. Nope. 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 Want those. Eh, that's half decent. I'll keep that and sell it. Sell that for transmutes. Uh, this Dex and Cold Pen. Don't really need Cold Pen. That actually might be a bit more useful as a... Hmm. I'm going to hold on to that for now. Use it later. Okay, so I need to go to the wetlands now, which... Gonna suck a little bit because I don't have the waypoint. Because <laughs> I forgot to get it earlier. Sure. I'll eat up some blues. Ugh, I need inspiration support, but I won't get that till Act 3 in the Star Encampment. Everything costs so much mana. Ah, it's still the same. So it'll probably be pretty easy to find the waypoint, because it should be right off behind Oak. Yep, right up here. Okay, I have all ruins. Nope, not the right way. I, this this weird, like, ribbed for your pleasure hallway is always a dead end. I, I also, I don't know how to describe it besides that, because, like, <laughs> that's the only descriptor I can think of that explains its shape. That way. I'm sure if I was not me, I would find another way. But it's also way more funny to say, to say, call it that. So I'm gonna... I can't do things the funny way. 
It also makes it way more memorable if it's funny. Oh, that was a portal scroll. I want that. Oh, I'm enjoying the fact that I'm now able to play this totem build as a proper totem build. Just set down totems, run. Let the totem sort out whatever else is fighting. Uh, okay, that's a dead end. That's a dead end. Maybe up here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, right there. Nope, that's a dead end. Ooh, you're tanky. You're very tanky. You also hurt. Ow. Oh, it's because you have endurance charges. That's why. Oh, boy. That's fun. Oh, I like... I like already identified things. That's great. Okay, Northern Forest. Cool, I bring you with me, Einhar. And before I do anything else, getting the waypoint. And the Sapphire Flask. And Scroll Wisdom. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to do this just really quickly, just grab a ton of wisps and be gone. I'm not really gonna spend too much time fighting things, I think. Ooh, I want the... I really want the... Chromatic things. Wow, that, that took way more time than that should have for my brain to come up with that word. What was another chromatic thing? Do the Wildwoods just drop a lot of chromatic items, or is this just a freak occurrence? Okay, I don't know what those are besides just reveal more places, more area for free. Okay, I'll run forest. I should run back. Yeah, I should go back to town. My inventory's full. I'm most of the way through Act 2, though. I... It's going to be a long stream, but we should be on target still to hit the ascent, the first Sensi by the end of the stream. Assuming that it's not, like... Assuming that I'm powerful enough for it. Ooh, crit multi, cold damage with spells, and a level to all cold damage skills. Spell skills. 
on a global crit chance base. Uh, I guess I'll put that up for... How much are elks right now? Oh, I can't even check. Uh, put it up for a couple elks. Oh, no, I'll just do one elk. Bluff it. That'll be fine. I don't know how I knew, but before I even hovered over this, I was like, that's the minion one. Don't, I don't know how my brain can do that. Well, actually, yes, I do. I played too much for this game. That's how I can do that. <laughs> uh. Okay, Grouse, you must have something for me. I'm starting to see four sockets now. That's nice. Probably because we hit power past 20 now. Okay, another forest. Is there anything I really need right now? My skill tree. Damage is nice, always. I'm going to go for Primal Manifestation, I think. That'll give me damage and totem life and totem duration and such. That'll be worth it. Ooh, quant. Give me something cool. Ooh, yep. Yep, I like that. Lots of transmutes. I was about to say, oh, a beast! I'm going to get Einhar. No, I already have Einhar with me. I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> Apparently. Ah. Wow, these hurt. I guess because one of them is a beast. There you go, Einhar. I actually made good on my agreeing to help you for once. So the cavern's next. We're gonna rush to the Starn Encampment and then we're going to take a quick break. That I think is the plan. Whoa, that's a big treant. Maybe it just looks big because it's, like, empowered or something because it's a blue mob. Infested corpse of giants. That's cool. Doesn't look like much of a giant, but it's smaller than me. Am I a giant? <laughs> no, probably not. Wisps. Wisps. Alright, just clean up that stuff. And out I go. Oh no, I, I left the transmute. Whatever. I'll be fine. Crazy to me that there are people who are in, like, yellow maps, and this league's only been up for six hours. I guess it doesn't really matter to me. 
but... One day I'd love to be able to get one of those firsts. It'd just be cool. I also don't really want to spend the time to learn the speedrunner strat, so I guess that's going to be the trade-off. Is If I want to learn it, I probably can do it, but I have to learn it. I also want to start like Scion or something that has a movement speed buff early on. Okay, and graph movement speed, yay. Do I want to go back to the town? Uh, yeah, sure. I load fast. I'll open a public party so other people can piggyback off me. I've certainly been the benefit of enough kindness that I should. Oh, this is Ignite, and this is Fire Resistant. Okay, I don't actually care enough to kill that then. Oh, no. That's a ribbed one. Ribbed hallway. That for once isn't a dead end. Surprise. That's interesting. Engine pyramid. Wildwood. Just gonna very quickly. Wait, I saw something. Oh my gosh, I found the warden! Finally! Choose Wildwood Specialization. Warden. Thank you. Yay, I'm a warden! Oh god, I'm getting fucking murdered. Please. Please. Thank you, totems. Uh, ah, first tinctures. Hit steel frenzy charges, penetrate, chaos res, recover life on killing an enemy. Uh, sure, I'll take a tincture. Why not? Okay, and I can just leave this as soon as I run out of... Oh. I'm not talking in the right chat, and I don't want to get myself killed. Okay, there we go. Maybe it's rumored to do at the bottom of the pyramid, but I'm pretty confident that we'll be at the top of the pyramid quickly. Ah, this person's here already. Uh, yeah, probably this way. Yep, there it is. Yep, there's the next door. Okay, now gonna gonna piss him off because. I feel like doing my taxes, and... Oh, I can't apply the tincture yet because I don't have the stuff allocated. So I could either equip that now, or... Honestly, I would rather just have the movement speed buff and remove this from here. I'm now going to move much faster. That makes me happy.
Mm, we're killing this too fast. I'm going to move my totems away. And let people get here. Kill some of these other things. Okay, we've given enough time. Okay, good, everyone's here. There we go. Okay, and leave party. Just want to give as many people the option to uh, immediately uh, be able to jump right into the boss fight rather than having to do the walk. Oh, I move so quickly now. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, the War and Ascendancy, I love you so much. <laughs> I can't use the tinctures yet, but I don't care. Rescue the girl? She is definitely a woman, thank you very much. Don't be diminutive. Well, I guess she already is a di damsel in distress, so that is kind of diminutive to begin with, but... Eh. Okay. Character select. Pop up. Okay, Act 3 Town. I think we got everything we needed from Act 1, unless there is a trial in the crypt. And actually, thinking about it now, there probably is. Darn. There we go. Clearing the old inventory. Okay, the tincture, I'll just... Oh, all damage can shock. That's cool. Okay, well, I'll put that somewhere, I guess. Uh... I guess I can put it on my Misc tab for now. I'll use that once I have more Wildwood specialization, but I don't really care to push for that when what I actually need is the movement speed, mostly. <laughs> oh, and that's movement speed in town, too. So that brings... So with a 30% movement speed boost... Actually, no, I'm getting... So there's a 5% penalty for the armor I'm wearing. Uh... So that means I'm at 35% movement speed right now. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, as promised, we are going to go on a quick break. Take a moment. You can get up, stretch, get water. You know the drill. I'll see you all in 10-ish uh, minutes.
Welcome back, everyone. Hi, Han. Yes, today is Friday. We are here with my old man character wearing a mattress, holding two sticks, a plague doctor mask, and, 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 wow, that did not work, and is in his underwear. Glorious, the future god killer. What do we still have with us? Okay, so we have two more, three more areas ahead of us and the crypt. And then we can do our sentency. Our sensei will be the end of the stream. Okay, straight away into the Wildwood. As far as I can tell, it's worth it to always run through the Wildwood, even if you don't want to fight all the stuff in here. Especially if you, like, happen upon a merchant where you go. Is that Einhar? Einhar I see on the mini-map? I think so. Okay, collect up the yellow stuff here. Actually, I guess the yellow wisps don't matter if I don't have a merchant, because I think it just resets. Just sad and kind of a waste, but... I was hoping that they'd carry over the wisps from one area to another, but I guess not. Okay, there's the sewer. So the... Atacom should be quite far from here. Ooh! Ooh, I got a... a uh, I don't fucking remember what, what these wands are called. These? Yeah, these are the cover in Ash ones! The Ash Caller. Oh, that's awesome! Uh, okay, hold on. There's far too many bears surrounding me. I need to be de-bared. Hold on. Oh my gosh, having 30% movement speed extra... Plus 30% extra movement speed just when searching through the campaign is amazing. Even if you don't want to do, to do Warden eventually for your uh, Wildwood Ascendancy, just just pick Warden for leveling. It's just so much faster. Welcome back, on. I think everyone else has gone to sleep. I know it's pretty late for some of you. Or GCP, nice. You want Tiger? You mean the new microtransaction? Wait, you don't play this game. Oh, yeah. It's it looks like a really cool microtransaction. You have to make sure that your your PoE account is uh, uh, attached. Uh, if you just go into uh, if you just go into your drops menu on Twitch, you'll be able to see what your progress is. And if you have and or like both your progress and if you have the right thing attached to your account for it. 
I, you probably still do if you're using the same Twitch account as when you played. Wait, Mystic Marvels as Miri God Shrine complete. What? What's that? What? What do you mean God Shrine? Don't. Did I find something? Oh God! If I found something, I can't find it again. Oh, there it is. Statue of the Goddess. Ah, good to hear. Yep, reminder to everyone that, that till uh, Friday the 15th, I believe, the from now on till Friday the 15th, there will be a, uh, there'll be Twitch drops for the Tiger Pet for Path of Exile. What is this that it has so, oh, it has, okay, it is life regen, that's why it sucks so much. Okay, well, I don't give a shit about that. I'm going to pause the music. So we can listen to this, whatever this is. Okay, no, we can't listen to it because this thing is too much of an asshole. We honor the goddess, the sisters three, the most humble, all that we are. We owe her something, something, something. I'm going to get eaten by a wolf. Ah. Okay. Uh 2 p.m. EST? AM EST. I I don't know. I think it's from uh whenever the league launched for you, like that time is when it starts, when it started and when it will end. So, for me, it started at 2, which is uh, Eastern Time. For Pacific people, it started at 11 a.m. So I'm pretty sure that's when it ends. Okay, good. I actually have some fucking blast charges again. That got dicey for a moment. Yeah, we're starting to see four socket items pop up. That's good. Oh yeah, I forgot to even I forgot to even add the ash collar because that's actually going to give me a lot more damage having the ash collar on. The only problem is that I need to socket it somehow, and the ash collar is not. Socketed. You know what? I'm going to go back home. And by home, I mean I'm going to go back to town. And I'm going to, I guess, socket it. Whoa! Uh, lag encampment. Fucking hell. I wish the lag encampment wasn't so bad, but it's really bad. Okay, so somehow I need to fit this into something. Uh, added fire damage support isn't actually an ideal pickup. I could, uh, I could put combustion back on, but I still need a red socket for that. Hey, okay, can I have a red socket, please? Okay, 
There we go. Oh, I just realized I don't have any any fusing, so I can't like this, even if I wanted to. Okay. Well, what's over here? Smite and flame wall. Okay, yeah, no, I don't need to have I don't need to have the trap support on there. Oh, these are scepters! So I need to find a new wand anyways. Mmm, that sucks. Maybe I can find a decently linked wand. Just... At the forest encampment? Ina, hi. Yeah, I mean, that is within my ability to use. It's not good, but I don't really need good. Oh, that's perfect. I can use the uh, Essence of Sorrow. Ooh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Percent fire damage, percent spell damage, percent spell damage. Awesome. Wait, no, that doesn't fix my problem. What the fuck am I saying? Because <laughs> I still don't have anything linked to use it on. Damn it. Hmm. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to hold on to this all for now. And Okay, so I have a decent set of weapons waiting for me now. I just need to get something else to put. I just need a new three link, basically. Can I... Actually, I should... Okay, I'll chrome check here, and then I'll run back to the Sarn encampment, see if I can buy a piece of equipment that has three links that I want on it. Oh, those boots are better for me. They were singing for a second. <laughs> they were so cute. They're really cute. I just wish that this entire thing wasn't so laggy. Okay. Hargan, please give me a three link that I could use. Well, there's a chromatic. That's chromatic boats. I don't think I can even use the green, but at least I would have something decent. I'm going to buy these. They're not great. And they don't have any movement speed on them. But I still have all the movement speed from being a warden, so... I will hope for the best. No, I just want a blue. Just give me a single blue. That, I, that works fine. Okay, Holy Flame Totem. Combustion. Added fire damage. Faster casting is somewhere. There it is. Okay. Don't like losing movement speed, but I like having damage. These are going to be dramatically better weapons. Okay, so you can go there. Throw you over there. Actually... Since I'm here in town, I can use one jeweler's orb on this. Cool, that has three sockets now. That's much better. 
Uh, flame wall. I guess I can just put that there. Uh, I don't really have anything to put on Smite, so I guess that'll be fine. Oh yeah, these are absolutely shit. These, these are so white items, there's nothing on them. <laughs> Okay. Well, whatever. Thank you for believing in me, Han. You're the only one who ever does. No, I'm kidding. Keep. Okay. Wanna... I want to apply my... Oh. Oh, I can't use Smite now, because I don't have... I, I have ones instead of Scepters. Whatever. I, do, I don't fucking care. <laughs> I just don't fucking care right now. Okay, that'll, that'll be fine. I won't have the Smite buff, but I'll be okay. It's not that big a buff early game anyways. It's nice, but it's not that big a buff. Okay. Damage from hits is taken from your nearest totem's life. I'm gonna grab that. The game's like, you have no mana. I'm like, that's because I have totems. Oh, wait. Why did all of the... Oh, for some reason, my item visibility got turned off. I must have hit that accidentally. I need to be careful with that. Oh, detonate corpses! <laughs> detonate cats! Don't want to be detonated. Oh, that's a four link. I can sell that. A giant mana flask. Oh, fuck, I love it. I'm in love. Oh. Do I need this? Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I see a wildwood thing. No, okay. It was wildwood empowered, but it wasn't dangerous. I guess I just have the damage now that it doesn't matter. The The fact that I have a chance to cover things in ash on hit now is really good. Like, that, that ash collar is, like, is super, super strong. Yeah, no, stay in the corner. There we go. There's piety. Defense. Okay, right, let's clear out all the soldiers first and then do piety after. Okay, hi piety. Guess who is going to stand behind something? There we go. I'm failing to discreetly eat a granola bar. 
I accidentally rubbed it against the mic, that probably sounded awful. Oh god, why am I lagging in this town too? Uh, you need flammability. Okay, chromatic item, drum check. No, not this one. I gotta, I gotta get a better method. I gotta find a better method of, of music besides the one that has the song that screams in it. And now, like, super, super aware of it, like, when that's, that song starts, like, I start to notice it, and I'm like, no! No, stop! Wow, I'm getting serious lag right now. That's not bad for a helmet. I mean, it only has 45... It only has... It's blue, but, I mean... It's still not that bad. That's actually better than my helmet. I'll actually go there. I'm not even using you, but you can go over there. Cool. There, you can go there. I'll put you on there for an elk. Okay, made a minion thing. It's meh, but whatever. Set up for an elk. Okay, Clarissa. Give me sewer keys. Thank you. Okay, so... Next area is the sewer. Which means I should go back in through the encampment rather than the other way, because the sewer is always closer to the encampment than it is to the crematorium. I believe. There we go. Okay, so I know the sewer's right over here. Oh wow, losing that 10% movement speed sucked. I can feel the difference already. But I also got way more powerful, so... You lose some things, you gain some things. Gathering wisps, gathering wisps. Ooh, giant mana flask. Yes, sexy. Yeah, more mana. I have six hundred of the wisp. Worn statue. Pausing. No, fuck off. I'm glad that I stopped the music just for that. <laughs> so glad.
Ooh, purple. No, I ran out of purple. I want more purple. Give me more purple. I don't know if this saves light by teleporting around, but I'm going to try. Stuck against the wall. Ah, right here. There's more here. Oh. Wah. Okay, so the first... First bus should be pretty close to here. It's always before the waypoint. More giant mana flasks. Wow. Being very lucky. There it is. Oh, I have so much mana to use now. Uh, so nice. Yeah, hopefully it's up here. Oh, Jewel. Dexonant. Not bad. <laughs> Luck is for the weak you scale. Thank you. <laughs> See... This is how I view it. Skill helps you access luck better. Skill can make you faster at going at going through a map. But that all that means is that you get more uh, more attempts basically at getting lucky because you're killing more things and having more rolls on the loot tables. I know that's not totally related to what you said, but it's, I don't know, it's just my philosophy. Okay, so this was the right way, but the wrong way to get the bust. I've gone bust. Trying to find the bust. It must have been back here. You're funny. Thank you. Who am I to disagree with a compliment? There we go. I feel so slow now that I got, got rid of that 10% movement speed. Marketplace. Right, straight into the wildwood. Yeah, you. I'm just going to have to deal with my awesome totems. Yeah, it is harsh losing quality of life buffs. Honestly, I. And this is going to sound insane for a moment, but I would like them to remove movement speed from all boots. Just rare boots, from unique boots, from everywhere. And then just make the 30% movement speed the basic amount, or even 25%. I don't think there's any good reason why you should have this mandatory thing for gear, this mandatory stat. 
just just to like be able to enjoy the game. Because if something's mandatory, then obviously it needs to be put somewhere else so that you can definitely have it always. Because, like, there's never a point where... It doesn't feel good to be at a point where, like, you have a 30% movement speed boost... Boots? To boost your movement speed? It just feels not bad. It would be really nice if they just made movement speed an inherent thing that every character has. They can tune everything they want to be to be based on that, but the base movement speed in this game is too low. It's just it's painful. It also means that all boots that are without movement speed are just by definition worthless. At least that's my view. If I found a, a pair of boots with good stats on it, and it had no movement speed, I would just throw it out. I wouldn't even bother trying to sell it. But if I found something with half decent stats, half good stats, and it has movement speed on it, I would immediately try to sell it. Because no one's going to buy something without movement speed on it. Or at least not very many people will. What was that? Oh, just a special ability of this thing. Another giant mana flask, nice. And I was, like, suffering for flasks earlier, and now I have a ton. Oh, God! What the hell was that? Okay, whatever. I guess I'm just not going to have whatever that was. <laughs> oh, also, for people who are considering actually using this build themselves... Devotion here has increased Consecrated Ground Effect. Which makes it, like, a priority to pick up for for your stuff. Because, like, you have Consecrated Ground from, like, level 6 whenever you get your uh, Holy Flame Totems. Oh, I see the book. Okay. Crafting recipe. Ferris off my face, whatever. Hmm. Where's the fourth one? Oh, 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 um. This is the, uh,. It's in the Imperial Garden. So the Imperial Garden and the Crypt left before I can go do my sentency. Okay, the only reason I came in here was to do the ascendancy, so I'm going to go out now. Yeah, I'll sell it. Ooh, that's decent. I'd have to lose some max life. I would get more armor. I like armor. Here's what I'm going to do. 
I'll leave you in there. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave you in here. And if you sell, I'm not going to use you, because I will sold it. <laughs> and if you don't sell, I'll probably use you, because I haven't sold it. <laughs> Just seems like decent logic to me. Okay, so I have a Stibonite Flask here. Oh, it was increased armor! Nice, that's a really good roll. Okay, I'm going to grab the Lust Max Life. So I'm already nearing 1,000 Max Life. Okay, let's see where I need to go from here. Uh, Decanter Spiritus, don't need. Uh, it only gives you an amulet. We'll take the boots, though. Docks. Docks. No docks. 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 Oh, it's the battlefront. Thought the docks were here. Maybe they are. No, it is the battlefront. Okay. And immediately into the wildwood. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, so much. So much. So many wisps. So many wisps. Ugh. Sexy. Oh, I got a big thing. Oh, that gave me a ton. That gave me a ton of wisp things. Okay, I don't like all of you creatures following me. Please go away. I have a feeling I'm not going to find a merchant before I run out of light. Aw. Well, I found a well to replenish my stuff, but that's not going to help me. No merchant. Okay, going to grab the waypoint right over here somewhere? Yeah, right over here. I feel like I'm at a good power level right now, because I'm level 28, there's level 27 area, and I'm still going through things pretty fast. So it's a good chance, potentially, to go to the labyrinth as soon as I can. Get the ribbon spool. I think now that I'm at the battlefront, I can go to the Imperial Garden. I think. But it should just be right over here. Somewhere. Not there. I guess it's up here. It's usually in the right slash top right corner. Unless I'm confused about the area. I think I'm confused about which area I'm in. I'm thinking of the Ebony Barracks. Yeah, I'm confused about the area. So that was... It goes to a bunch of places. 
Plus Slayer is level 2. Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to... I think I need to get the uh, Infernal Talked first before I can get to the Ebony Barracks before I can kill Gravitius, before I can go to the Imperial Gardens, before I can get the Lab Trial, before I can get the Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. I expected this to be a bit spooky, but it's actually not, which is my pre which is my preference. Ooh, ooh, that's the primalist. Okay, I hadn't found the primalist till now. I'd found the warden, but not the primalist. Oh, well, it's Mark. Choose Wildwood Specialization. I'm already a Warden. I would prefer to stay a Warden. I'm good. Charm. Blind. Mark Effect. Or Effect of Mines. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can't. I was gonna price check it, but I can't. I don't think that's enough mark effect to matter. The aura effect from mine is good. I'm gonna see if I can get 541 blue before I'm done here. Uh-oh. I might not get enough. No, I think I'll get enough. Oh, don't want to get sucked out of here. Is that enough? Yes. Right. Can I swap forward and back? Oh, I can't swap back? Oh, I was just swapping to here to see what it... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to be so slow now. Oh, I just realized that I wasn't even getting the benefit because I picked up, um, I put gems in my boots and I can't have gems in my boots. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I guess I'm going to have the rucksack for a while. That's not too bad. You might even say that's good. I feel like that's the antagonist that's laughing. <laughs> Might be a friendly evil laugh. But I don't think it is. You just got a great specter for lightning bolts? Cool. I just got a great charm for... Uh for mine builds. 21% increased effective aura from mines, 10% chance to avoid elemental ailments while phasing. Bit of saboteur, bit of raider. Ooh, first of all, side area. Hmm. 
Give me a vol gem. All gems are nice. There's a lot of very good vol skills I could get right now. I'd love to get uh, summon skeleton again. Just have a ton of skeletons to distract things. Vol, ooh, Vol Reap with quality and Vol Ice Nova. The Vol Reap with quality is probably going to be worth something. Mm, yeah, about a chaos it looks like. Play well over there. I think that symbol's a wave. Responding to chat. I've seen it a whole bunch. Dramatic item. Ooh, first over binding, that's gonna be really nice. I'll make something really good. Don't know what, but it'll make something good. If I can find an armor energy shield base body armor, I can over binding it. That would be enough that I could get the right gems in it. Sorry, I might my brain just stalled. That'd be enough. If I got an, a uh, strength energy shield base for body armor, I could overbinding it and probably use that in in place of the boots and then get the war and ascendancy back and hopefully become uh like get the 30% movement speed bonus back. Ooh, lots of wisps. The unfortunate thing is it seems like wisps are basically worthless unless you happen to find a merchant. It's kind of unfortunate. Aided etching. Oh, I've already seen that one. Okay, yeah, nothing here. Ooh, that's good sockets on a helmet. Oh, storm colors. I uh, need to get rid of something. Okay, go away. Storm charges, that's what they're called. That's decent. Wow, the movement speed rolled probably the worst possible, as close to as bad as possible, basically. 
These are really, really badly rolled. Well, I can bring back the town's album. It's something. Yeah, I get to manage one and a half inventories now, not just one. The dangers of the rucksack. The more storage you have, the more stuff you'll store. Come on. That one wasn't even fire immune. That one was just tanky. Or fire resistant, not immune. Uh. Oh, that's what's going on. Little ribbon wandered off. This way? This way. Yay. Waypoint. Hmm. I'll take the Jade Amulet. Okay. Back to town. Once I recover some of my movement speed, I'll probably go to the crypt. Yeah, I'm not going to even bother keeping the Storm Chargers. They're really bad. Really badly rolled. Oh, I forgot that. Oh, yes. I forgot to crumb check. Crumb check! Wait, I didn't actually check for int strength body armor. Strength, strength, strength dex, strength dex. These are strength int. It's level 32, that's not too bad. I'll be there soon. Level and a half. Uh, kind of shitty, but it's still better than nothing. Sure, that's good. Okay, so I'll build to get... Once I get the warden back, I can swap this out for this. Get some movement speed boots going. Okay. How much is Vol Ice Nova? Just an elk. Put up for some transmutes to make it easy. I'll put this up for chaos because quality Vol gems are rare right now. Oh, I hit level 30 so I can combine my giant flasks. No, not the quality of one.
Let's see if I can get evasion on this to match the Stibonite with armor on it. Nope, just shock. Or shock reduction. I don't know what this is worth of anything. Seems like it's worth something. Hmm. I'll put it up for a C. It's not I can't easily price check it, unfortunately. Because it's a new item and Awaken POV Trade does not recognize it because of that. Okay, so I need to go to the docks. So I guess left from the dock or I guess left from the battlefront is the docks. Wow, well, Wildwood. I would like to be a warden again if I could. Ooh, Diamond Shrine. Diamond Shrines are amazing for me. They basically guarantee triple damage. Or they will. Not yet. But they will. Ah. Oops, I left a chromatic item behind. Oh well. Okay, I'm not going to leave the chrome behind, then. Did anyone else see a bunch of blackguards try to run down the stairs and then disappear as they got to the bottom? That was really weird. Whoa! That's a lot of damage, my friend. Wisps. Following the wisps. Following the wisps. I'm over here. Following the wisps. Wisps. No. No explodey. Over here. Friend. Friend. Warden. Thank you. I want to be a warden. Give me warden back. Wonderful. Rescue Vivid Wisps from Afflicted Things. Okay. Anything I can purchase here before I leave? Oh. <laughs> ah! I'm getting harassed! Yeah. Okay, please, can I have something? Okay, cool, I'll do that. I'll just teleport. My first chaos sale of the league, yay! So, penetrates, cold resistance, steals endurance charges, calling strike. Cover life from killing a rare, unique enemy. Took strike chance against enemies on full life. So, this one. I'll probably use this tincture. 
Because Calling Strike and Steel's Endurance Charges are useful. Then I'll sell the others. Oh, I have a shit ton of bonus resistances because my uh, helmet's empty. <laughs> That's funny. Well, give me a bunch of extra health, too, now that my... I'll empty that up. I need alternate weapons. That's what I need. If I have alternate weapons, then I can actually level things without, without there having to be so much stuff. Because if I can do this... That gave... I forget what buff that just gave me. Defenses from equipped body armor are double if there's no socket of gems. Okay. Cool. So I have everything but the boot one, the boots thing that I want. <laughs> I put that up for our C. No, I'll just put up for an elk. Put that up. Yeah, I'll put that up. This will go in my gear section, because I'll probably use it. That I probably won't use. Okay, go back to the docks. I forget if I responded. Yeah, it's it's really confusing when you hear someone else's uh, messaging. Like if I were I'm watching a YouTube video and I hear their uh, their Discord ping, I'm like, it bothers me so much because I'm just like, but that's not mine. Happy that Discord has like an automatic streamer mode, so you don't actually hear notifications while you're streaming. Nor does anyone else who's watching you. Okay. No. Where? I guess up here. Nope. This might end up being my longest stream. <laughs> Who are these people with friends? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, ignoring Fairgraves, because he's not useful. Put the waypoint, so I just need to get the... Sulfite. Sulfite? I think it's sulfite. There it is. Thomic sulfite, okay. Okay. Solaris Temple, level 2. Ooh, lots of stuff there I can look at. Earl Talked, I can open up the sewer now. Yeah, I think the the flame wall is benefiting the the holy flame totems. I should look into adding that to the build because that actually might be really strong. Uh, 
I'm just glancing over the build right now to see if it makes any notable effect. I don't know. Oh! It's a 160,000 damage increase. And it says I still get it, even though... Even though I don't deal damage with it. Okay. In that case, I'm going to move some stuff around in the build. Okay, so I now have room in the build for the for flame wall. Cool. That brought it from 2.64 to, no, sorry, 2.46 to 262. That's nice. Ooh, lots of blue stuff. Blue wisps. Give me more blue stuff. Oh, wolves! Wolves! Blue. I want some blue. Blue. Follow the blue. Blue. Aw. No merchant. Wait. Whispering Wildwood Wisps Vivid Complete. Okay. I guess there just was a challenge that I had to do. I don't know. You know what? I don't want to fight these. I don't care what those are. I just don't want to fight them. <laughs> so let's fucking leave. Okay, so sewers are here. Oh, okay. Well, another one. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Got busy very quickly. Flowers. Angry flowers. That thing's not dying very quick. Oh, it is it's resistant and it has extra life. That's why. Ooh, vivid. Purple, 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 purple. I think I need yellow ones for... for the warden. I think that's what vivid is. Oh, yeah, those vivid's the yellow. Okay, so I need to follow the yellow ones. To do the quest. You know, I think the forest actually benefits from you not having, like, an extremely fast character. Because you have, like, more control over what area you're unlocking. As for the I, the, the I want some blue, I was thinking of uh, the, the bird meme. You want some yellow? Yellow? No, blue. You want some blue? I'm not doing it justice. I have to find it. Oh, oh you seem dangerous.
So this is obviously isn't the full build, but this actually is how the build is supposed to play. Placing holy flame totems, cursing things, and placing flame walls. God, there's so many explodey things involved in this. Wow. That was a lot of things. Uh, I really would like to pick up some of this stuff. What are you and why are you exploding constantly? <laughs> Don't like. Oh, here. I can... Wait, no, I can't. Oh, I was going to equip this. Does this have int on it? It does. Not enough int. <laughs> Close, but not enough. Oh, I can equip that, though. Cool. That means I can whip random things if I want to power them up. Merchant, please. A little more vivid. Give me vivid. Give me the vivid. Give me vivid. Give me yellow. There we go. Yay, 32! That's an important level. Now, I can use that chest plate once I go and uh, return to town. Gonna grab some more yellow wisps first, though. Oh, I'm more or less out then. Okay. It's fine. Okay, back to town. What is it with all these effects in town? I hate that. Okay, I'm going to go to a place that isn't laggy. I don't know why they were like, let's turn town into a laggy, awful mess. No one will hate that, right? I don't mean to be bitchy. Just slightly annoyed. Okay, so we have a much, much better life flask now, which we've been waiting for for quite a while. That's nice. And we can pick up those as soon as we put on our chest plate. I feel like I should have had fire penetration support by now. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I always forget people whenever I'm supposed to trade with them.
I'm so bad at that. I hate it. I'm so sorry, friend. Enough that it's frustrating. <laughs> Oh, I almost I almost confirmed the trade without <laughs> without them giving anything for it. Wouldn't be the biggest deal since it's only an elk, but not it wouldn't be ideal. Okay, let's go that way. Okay, so yeah, now I can move with a 30% movement speed buff. I have the life buff from the empty gloves and the resistance buff from the empty helmet. It's really nice being incentivized to not fill all your gem slots. Like, I don't have to worry about these gem... I don't have to worry about gem links, I don't have to worry about anything. Just pick gear that has decent stats and I'm good. Okay. Severing the right hand. We're going to go kill Nocrevicius. We are going over here to the Imperial Gardens. get the waypoint and more importantly we're gonna go and get the blue yellow we're gonna go get the labyrinth trial so we can do the lab there are horns wandering in the darkness that are chasing me monkey Bad monkey. Okay. Oh, I found eggs. Oh, I found a spider nest. Great. Let me just let me just kill everything with fire. Hold on. Everything shall burn! Well, this is horrible, but also it gives very good loot, so... I'm somewhat placated. Okay. Gross things are gone. Well, unless you consider the Templar gross. And then he's still here, but... <laughs> ah, poor old man. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Okay, I found the library. That's good. That means it shouldn't be too far away. I think if the library is here, that means that the trial's right up here. Yep. Okay, gonna head over, grab the waypoint, then we're heading to the crypt immediately. I feel like I went past it. Yeah.
Oh, spikes on death, I see. Uh, in addition to the normal spikes on death. Right. Going back to Act 2. Riding through the crossroads. And now we head south. Oh, fusing. That's really nice. I didn't have any of those. Oh. I went the wrong way. Oh, an essence of woe. That's actually really nice. Being that I'm a spellcaster. Whoa, an essence of woe. That joke's never going to get old. Because it already is. <laughs> okay, in the crypt. No, wrong way. Wait, was that a trans transmute? Oh, it's an aug. Well, whatever. Currency good. Benjamin Button jokes? Not sure what you mean. Oh, is this the right way or the wrong way? This is the wrong way. Must be this way. Uh, I remember a movie of that description, yes. My joke was just that I killed a uh, essence monster that had an essence of woe, and I said woe. It, it really was not complicated or important. And the explaining the joke definitely made it better. Okay. That's totally fair. We're going to be done soon anyways. I'm going into the lab and then the stream, is, the stream will be done once I complete the lab. Have a good night. Thanks for coming. As always. Do with all that shit later. Actually, wait, this might be good for me. Hmm. What are my resistances like? My resistances are still good. I don't really need this. Okay, I'll, I'll put that aside until I need it. We're in the home stretch. One last thing I'm going to do first, though. 
one last thing I'm going to do first. That is a weird sentence. I'm going to talk to Yina. Do you have fire penetration support? Nope. No, you don't. You have Herald of Purity, though, which I need. Okay, whatever. Wait, what was that? Find Spanner. I do need you too. Don't really have many slots left, though. To put stuff in. Uh, which? Okay, what is what? What does the helmet give? Oh, helmet gives resistances. Gloves give life. Boots give movement speed. I want the movement speed. I could probably sacrifice the life, at least temporarily. Not you. If I did this, That would bring my resistance down to 58, 50, 42, but that doesn't matter because Azaro does physical damage. So I'm going to put this in here, or I'll hide this. I swear that there's fire pen somewhere that's available to me. I'm going to check... Act 1 and 3, and then if I don't find it, I'm going straight into the Labyrinth. Nope. No Fire Panini. Clarissa, help me. No, I can already see it's not here. No support gems. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Into the lab we go. Hmm. Zaro, I do not care. Just stop talking. Okay, so I have Herald of Purity, Herald of Ash, Defiance Banner, and Level 1 Precision. Level 2 Precision. Okay, Level 33. Always yummy. This... Oh, the Labyrinth is Level 33. Why did I think it was 35? Probably because of the the second lap is 55, so I was probably thinking 35 and 55, not 33 and 55. Which both make sense in their own right. One is at increments of 5, and the other one is at, at multiples of 11. Yeah, 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 I don't care.
Ideally not. I don't really want to be a martyr. Kind of like the whole being alive thing. It's my kink. I should pick up something else. You know, seeing as I'm starting to get actual, like, ores and stuff, I could start going for reservation efficiency. There's nothing that's really going to help me immediately unless I go for a Sanctum of Thought. You know what, this will help, this actually will straight up help me with the lab, because that'll, seven, stick to nine percent, okay. Nice. Gave me two percent more physical damage reduction. That's totally worth it. Oh, if I can find dark shrines, I really would love to find some dark shrines. The fun fact, I didn't know this till till now, but these uh these boosts, like the cube of absorption, which like destroys uh disables a conduit in the uh Izaro fight, those actually decrease the number of uh reward keys you can get. So there's no reason to like just pick them up unless you actually need them. Cause I've always just picked them up because, well, it's a thing to pick up. Why not? It's a lab trove. Oh, lab troves actually are valuable now. Hmm. Fine. It's the first lab. It'll be easy. Oh, I say as I just get to it immediately. Okay. Not worth it, but it's something. You know what? I don't care to kill that. It's also... Oh, there's a gauntlet over there. Do I care? Yes, I care, because that's the right way. Okay, I'm pretty sure there isn't a dark shrine on this level. Because there usually isn't a dark shrine where the gauntlet is. Thankfully, I can tank a lot of the Labyrinth Traps because I have a shit ton of physical damage reduction. Second Aspirin's Trial. We can do this. That's gotta be it. You're dead. You're dead. Stop attacking me. Seriously, you're dead already. Yes. Yes, I know. They're like, oh, we fixed it so that, that Azara won't have a double voice when you run into the, uh... Uh, when you run to the labyrinth with other people. Isn't that nice? No! Fix Cesaro living after he's dead! I care more about that! I just opened that in the lab without checking what it was. That was really dangerous. That was a really bad idea. I'm glad I didn't get punished for that.
Uh, okay. Wait. Is that what I think it is? Do I see a... Ow. Stop that. Do I see... No, okay. For a second, I thought I saw a uh, dark shrine. Actually, I'm in the mansion halls. Let me just check the lab site really quickly. Okay. Okay, so there is a dark shrine on this level. If I can get bonus activation, like bonus activations of the divine font, that would be really good, especially right now. Okay. It's over there. I see it. What? Nope. <laughs> it's not walking to the fire. I can wait for it to turn off. I can be patient. I barely waited for it to turn off. Heart thick heart quickens the blood thickens. Oh, reduce damage from lab traps. I wasn't I didn't recognize that. I'm used to motion ceases tension mounts, which is the uh like lab traps turn off. But that doesn't exist unless uh you're in the third lab. Or Third lab, or either third or fourth lab, whatever, because it it removes the or disables the traps that are in the uh, Aspirin's trial at the third Aspirin's trial. Okay, so we need to go this way. Don't know if you're still here, Ron, but pirate song for you. Okay, which one is this? Okay, this one also has a dark shrine in it. It's the last dark shrine. Apparently there's three dark shrines in the first labyrinth. That's really good. Let's see if I can find the dark shrine here. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, movement ceases, tension mounts. Labyrinth traps was disabled in the aspirin's trial. I didn't think there was labyrinth traps in the first first aspirin or the, or the normal labs aspirin trial. Oh, whatever. Well, now I really won't die to traps. <laughs> Not what I was looking for, but, I mean, it's better than nothing. Making the, making the labyrinth m more of a guaranteed thing to ascend is way more important anyways. Also means I'm guaranteed to uh, get to my transfiguration, whatever that might be.
I would love to show you my resolve. I guess the reason why he doesn't die immediately is because he has resolve. Even though he's already dead. I'm sorry, Zaro, I didn't mean to to insult your resolve. Okay, I do want Arcane Surge. Should I go for Pursuit of Faith first instead? Because my totem duration is also a problem right now. This will make sure I have enough damage for the next lab. This will make sure... This will also give me some damage, but it'll also give me a lot of quality of life. And my totems are never going to be dying, so the duration should be used pretty well. Actually, between this lab and the next, I'm going to be getting uh, multiple totem support, which means I'll be spawning two totems at a time, and it'll give me plus two totems, which brings me to four. So this will be the odd one out, the number five. So I actually don't need to go for this. I can I can comfortably go for Arcane Surge. Okay, now for the actually interesting thing that we're all all been waiting for: the first transfiguration. Transform a skilled gem to be a random transfigured gem of the same color. Add three percent quality to a gem. Uh. Well, the three percent quality is shit. Uh, where's my holy flame totem? That would give me. 6% projectile speed! Yay! Fuck that. That's fucking useless. Um... Okay, well I guess I'm gonna throw a random gem in. I'm gonna throw an int gem in. I have a frost blink here. Let's try that. Oh, I can pick one! Soul Rend of Reaping, Lightning Conduit of the Heavens, and Firestorm of Meteors. Ooh. Lightning strikes a number of enemies around a target location, cannot be swore by sp Spell Cascade. Ooh, that is some really nice energy shield leech. I don't know which ones of these are going to be worth the most. Well, I'm going to open the trade site. Let's see. Okay, so swapping over to the trade site view. Here we are. Nope, wrong button. Okay, so soul rend. Oh, soul rend of reaping. There's a bunch for sale for 1C, so obviously this isn't valuable really. It's even some with quality. Okay, Firestorm of Meteors. This has less for 1C. But they're better. And the final one was Lightning Conduit of the Heavens. Hmm. 
I'm going to go for the Firestorm one just because I'm really curious to see what it looks like. Since I've been doing Firestorm a lot. Okay, so I won't I can't deal damage with it, but let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it literally is just this the Firestorm Meteor without the uh, extra little bits to it. Cool. That's fine. Uh, I guess I'll leave it in my helmet for now so that it's leveling. And then I'll put it up on the market. Cool. It's first transfigured gem. That's awesome. Okay. Hmm. This has been the longest stream I have ever had so far. At 4 hours and 22 minutes. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. It's been so much fun. Honestly, this league start is probably the most interesting of all the league starts I've done. Uh... Ancestors was not as interesting. I've engaged with the affliction mechanic to a degree that... I've already engaged with the affliction mechanic more than I ever engaged with the ancestor, Trial of the Ancestors mechanic in the entire league. And I'm enjoying it, and I still want to keep working on it. The ascendancies were, are... The secondary ascendancies are cool. Transfigured gems are cool. This character's leveling well. There's, like, I have nothing to complain about. This is awesome. I'm very happy. So thank you all for watching. Everyone who is here and has been here, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for coming and seeing the stream. A remind reminder to make sure that you're, you are, in fact... Have your PoE account connected whenever you're watching a PoE stream this coming week, just so to your Twitch so that you're getting your drops. And I hope everyone enjoys their new tiger pet when they get it from Twitch. As for YouTube, thank you for your time. I hope uh, I hope you'll like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any ideas for future videos. And I would love. I would love, love, love to read more comments because every time someone comments, I really appreciate it. And I try to read everyone. I don't always get to them, but I try to read everyone. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Pyro. Have a good night, everyone.